Hello everyone, welcome back to Blockman Editor Tutorial. In these videos, we will give you a complete introduction to the Blockman Editor. Alright, let's get started. Let's start with a scenario, each time a player entity clicks on a part, it reduces the transparency of that part. When the transparency of the part is below a certain value, the player entity can pass through the part. The logic applied in this scenario is to turn off the collision property of the part by changing the transparency of the part. To implement such logic in the trigger editor, you need to use the logic nodes in the action nodes. In the editor, place a random part and open the trigger edit interface of the part. Click the new button to create the when the part is clicked trigger node, and drag the execution port to open the action node list. Click on the logic node, where you can see the action nodes related to the logic. Let's first look at the condition if else node. The condition if else node is used to add judgment conditions. When using the conditional if else node, it must be used in conjunction with the conditional judgment node. The conditional judgment node consists of two main parts, the condition parameter and the execution port. The function of the condition parameter is to connect the conditions that need to be judged. When the condition is met, the action node connected to the action node, and the condition judgment node is executed. Here you have to pay attention to this option in the condition parameter. If this option is checked, the conditional judgment node will default the condition as already met, and execute the action node connected to the action node directly. In the previous scenario, the judged condition was the transparency of the part clicked by the entity. In this case, you need to use the compare value node, drag the execution port behind the condition parameter to open the action node list. By clicking on the logic nodes, we can see that there are many new logic nodes, all of which can be used to make conditional judgment. Here we are going to use the compare value node in the mathematical operation section. The function of the compare value node is to compare the magnitude of two values. Next, we want to compare the magnitude between the transparency value of the part and a specified value, for example, we set the specified value to 0.5. When the transparency value of the part is less than 0.5, the collision property of the part is turned off, otherwise, the transparency value of the part will be reduced. We can create double type global variable t to represent the transparency value of the part. Since the part is completely opaque, when the part transparency value is equal to 1, we set the default value of the variable t to 1. Let's start with using this variable for value comparison. Connect the obtain global variable node after the value 1 parameter, and select t for the variable parameter. Value can be directly entered for the value 2 parameter, here we set it to 0.5, and for the operation method, choose the less than operation in the operator. Next, we need to refine the logic that the action node will execute, when the condition is met, which is the logic to turn off the collision property of the part. When the transparency value of the part is greater than or equal to 0.5, we need to reduce the transparency value of the part. This is a new condition that needs to be judged. Click on the add button in the condition if else node and you will see that there is an else if under if. We use else if to handle new conditions and if there are multiple new conditions, you can add multiple else if. Note that the condition if else node is executed from up to down order. When a certain condition is met, no further conditional judgments will be performed down the line. Connect the conditional judgment node behind else if, we directly check the box behind the condition parameter. This means that as long as the transparency value of the part is not less than 0.5, the logic attached to the node will be executed. Now let's refine the logic that needs to be executed when the else if condition is met. Open the list of action nodes through the execution port of the conditional judgment node. Select the set global variable node and variable and select the global variable t for the variable parameter. The value parameter connects to decimal operation under mathematical operation and logic. The decimal operation node is composed of two value parameters and operator parameters. 
we can directly enter the value or connect to other nodes in the value parameter. For the operator parameter, the editor provides five types of operation methods, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and remainder. Next, we connect the obtain global variable node after the value 1 parameter, and select the global variable t for the variable parameter. Set the value 2 to 0.2, and select the subtraction for the operator parameter. Then add a new execution port to the set the transparency node, and part parameter to the click part. Connect the obtain global variable node to the transparency parameter, and select the global variable t for the variable parameter. Now let's look at the logic of this section. When the condition of the transparency of the part is greater than or equal to 0.5 is met, the global variable t is then reduced by 0.2. Then we use the reduce global variable t to modify the transparency value of the part. Now go into the run mode and look at the effect of this scenario again. When the entity first clicks on the part, the collision property of the part is not turned off because the logic of transparency is less than 0.5 is not satisfied. Instead, the subsequent logic of reducing the transparency of parts is executed. After clicking multiple times on the part, when the condition on the transparency of the part is below 0.5 is met, the collision property of the part is turned off. That's all for this video. We hope it can help you on your way to a great creator. If you want to know more about the editor, you can comment below the video or post on the official forum. See you in the next video.